can I say? This is my first time watching the match, so we're going to see how things go here. It's Guy versus Cerno. Yeah, Guy was able to uh, eliminate MFA before getting here, so let's see if uh, Mr. Guy can keep up the momentum and turn uh, this set into another victory. I can tell you right now, guys, pretty much into a lot of the Falcon movement, trying to get some of those wave landings out, out of the way. Oh, missed dash grab. Nice. Quick jab Ooh. into Burn Knuckle. Already taking care of the stock here. Yeah, that was something I noticed when uh, Riddles went up against Fatality Falcon. So, Burn Knuckle, especially out like the confirmed from the neutral air. It just destroys Falcon. Ooh. Oh. This man but. caught the spot dodge. Just said, I'm sorry, man. Two for flinching. Nice. Good, good air, good air dodge. Guy in a tough spot here. 104 to zero percent. Cerno is doing an excellent job edge guarding. I like the classic Smash 4 tactic. Roll to the ledge. See how your opponent reacts, especially with the auto turnaround. out yeah you can already see guys just going for the down air on the up b didn't time it appropriately but uh, the idea is always nice especially for Terry. Ooh, but there's the charge rising tackle especially with the platform assist to take fucking out of there yep never forget your rising tackle is a charge move the longer you hold down with the stick the more it'll charge specifically the menu input good neutral air here Certain Turn a little bit on the receiving in here. 113. Go meter is activated. Guys yeah, looking for an opportunity to get in. You can see, like I said, a big fan of the wave landing here. Can he use that moving in to get the stock? Good read on that one. Back air. Whew. Yeah, this is one of the scariest positions to be in versus the Terry. Oh, nice. You wanted to confirm. Miss opportunity, but the coward Ooh. guys are after that. Oh, that one. Cerno takes game one. You know, it's like jab, up tilt, power geyser, and it was just true. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is kind of going similar to how like Reels Fatality set went, which is really, really heavily in a Terry's favor. But let's see, I, I think it really is going to come down to how much better a uh, guy can edge guard in this game. Yeah, I think I think that's the one thing that guy kind of got caught a little bit. It was using that movement to get that edge guard. He was able to get up a couple opportunities there, but we'll see how game two treats him here. Oh, stunning frames the side special really love to be in. Go up. Nice changing the pace here a little bit of with the up throw up air. Oh, close power. Do yep. Was able to, it looks like he was able to SDI out of that one. Oh no. Not enough height. Man, that's rough. Yeah, and he burned especially the jump like, in the middle of that too. Yeah, especially like when you're playing against this kid. Oh. Oh. Damn. <laughs> he's just not letting him have a second stock whatsoever. Good back air. Nice. Burning that second jump to come back on the stage. Doesn't see the down air. Guy is in a really rough position here. Grab forward throw. Nice. Wait out the opportunity. Yeah, he's definitely waiting for him to jump in a bad spot to get that Terry down air in there once again. Oh, no. Now, this is... Go time. Meaning any unsafe moment. Yeah. Good power, guys. Are usually because you can call out the aerials and there's a point of my goal for a jump. If you stand in the perfect spot, you can call out all five options as well. Oh, good, good, good. Changing it up, trying to get the down tilt or a good call out. Okay. Nice. Trying to get the good angle uh, rising tackle recovery because, of course, Terry does not auto snap the ledge and that can be caught. Great DI. Okay. Still, we have the gold meter, but there's the big falcon kick. 
Back where you need it. Get rid of the meter. Oh, oh no. Who needs it though? When you just got that power dunk confirmed, especially the input one doing extra knockback. Rough. Rough right now for Guy. I don't know, he seems kinda of lost in the matchup. Honestly, and I don't I don't blame Guy. This is looking really rough for Falcon. Like He's got the movement here, but when it comes to the close quarters combat, it's definitely Cerno taking a lot of the W's in that situation. Yeah, on top of being the perfect uh, weight class for comp Terry combos. Yeah, very, very difficult. Yeah, Cerno hasn't done it, but like Terry's Nair train to like burn knuckle is very, very strong against Falcon. All right, well, potentially the last game of the set here, guys. Do or die try moments. Sorry, do or die. Do or try. Oh, my God. Yeah, and guys had a pretty long lose run, too. So I'm sure that he just wants to continue since he's already come this far from losers bracket. But he's definitely going to have to figure out a few more things in this matchup. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, like I said, it's the close quarters combat. I neutral is able to do some movement here, but not enough. Tough spot to be in here. Cerno looking for the edge guard. Great opportunity Ooh. to mix it up with the burn knuckle, catching the neutral. Yeah, again, neutral get up. burn knuckle is so good at ledge. It's got some active frames, too. You got to respect it. Nice. Yeah, I think he's consistently doing the input one as well, so it just gets more distance and I think damage. Okay. Nice, get the gentleman in there. Oh, nice. Wow. Finally, though, Guy, this is the closest both Cerno and Guy have actually been this entire set. Okay, another great burn knuckle here from Guy. Or, sorry, from uh, Cerno. Nice down throw, trying oh, to get the raw back here, but he man, missed that's it. Rough. You can't afford to drop your combos at low percent. You have oh. to count for having rage. Glad he didn't neutral get up into that F smash. That would have been really bad. But yeah, this is not the time as a Falcon player to be dropping your setups. So yeah, and it's Terry. I mean, Ooh, just raw? you kind of have to hand it to Guy, though. He's on the receiving end of Terry's, like, onslaught. Power dunk to catch him for going on the high there. I was going to say, Guy might have to cool the Jets a little bit. Because every opportunity he tries to get something going, it gets immediately shut down. Good SDI out of that one. Nice. You can see how Rising Tackle does not auto snap the ledge. You have to get the right height on Terry to make sure you get it right. Nice forward tilt. Great setup in the oh, back air. He gets biked by the power dunk though. Oh, and they're both swinging for the fences right now. No, oh, good get up attack. Cerno's not giving up this lead. I kind of jabbed in place. Wasn't going to fall for any of Guy's reads. I'm a cross up, no backer out of the shield here. You can tell that Cerno's really content with going for a power dunk, simply because Guy likes to make those aerial approaches, and that's a great call out. Okay, opportunity here for Guy. Yeah. Oh, it's too late on his down here. Oof. Oh, that's going to be all she wrote here. 3 0 -oh, Cerno moving on from loser's quarters. Yep, Cerno, after uh, getting that win over Sharp, made his way into the top eight.